Welcome to VTRAM Tips. This video is about an alternative to the Roland Noise Eater. Roland made the sound isolation rubber parts to reduce the impact noise of kick and hi-hat pedal. The only problem is the price. We would need 3 any 10 boards and 7 any 1 feet for our drum kit. The price for them is insane. Now we present our solution. Therefore we use this 22mm plywood board. It has the perfect size for our kit. We removed the sharp corners with the jigsaw and sanded the borders. 24 tennis balls with a rubber core are required. And two of these cup kind plastic parts to prevent the KD120 from moving. We need to cut every tennis ball into two pieces. If you look closer, you will see their line. This is a perfect indicator to cut along. Be really careful and make sure you use a sharp knife. The rubber core of the ball does basically the same than the noise eaters. The kit got removed and the plate was positioned. We arranged the pieces of the tennis balls. Most of them should be placed underneath the stool, because this zone is more weight loaded than the other zones. After that we placed the wooden plate, the carpet and moved the drum kit back. The plastic cup parts need holes in the middle to screw them onto the plate. They will hold the kick drum pad in position. Every part of the drum kit is now isolated from the ground. The platform is movable and the tennis balls reduce the impact noise. It is not possible to show the noise difference in the video, but this construction is worth the effort. The kick pad is almost not audible from other rooms anymore. The price of this project was around 20 euro. We got the wooden blade for free. The only negative point is the size of the blade, compared to the noise eaters. Other than that, our WeTrum's Mega Noise Eater is better, price wise and in stability. Thanks for watching our video. Give us a like and check out our other videos. See you next time!